is going on today guys? My name's Alex. Welcome back to the freaking channel. Apparently Cummins is making a gas engine, so I figured we'd talk about it. So it is good to be back guys. I took a little time there. Um, ended up buying a home in New Brunswick, so that is exciting. Lots of cool content to come in terms of that, but it's down the road. So that's kind of my excuse for not to, not making videos the last couple of weeks. Now, before I went on vacation, I posted a video about the new 3.0 twin turbo inline six Stellantis engine, which is going to be unfortunately replacing the 5.7 Hemi and potentially the 6.4, although we don't know for sure. But I couldn't really find any information or concrete information in terms of the 6.4, what was happening to it, if it was indeed going to be thrown out with the 5.7 Hemi. But I think we may have found the replacement for the 6.4. Get my little step stool here. So Stellantis is going to have a high output version of the 3.0 twin turbo in line six and originally i thought well yeah maybe that could work uh because it is going to have like 500 horsepower and uh, roughly the same amount of torque however i kind of got thinking and i just don't think that's the right engine for this truck these 6.4 hemis have long duty cycles when they are actually used as work trucks or company vehicles and I think the high output Stellantis engine is much more of a performance based engine, which just really won't suit what an HD truck needs out of an engine. And you know, there's little things like you need premium fuel. So all of that kind of led me to believe that that's probably not the engine that's going to replace the 6.4 Hemi. And so I started thinking maybe the 6.4 Hemi wasn't gonna be replaced, but then I read some comments on that video and you guys talked about the 6.7 Cummins gasoline engine which is very interesting. And the timeline of when Cummins is gonna release it is curiously kind of when the 6.4 Hemi or the Hemis are gonna be on their way out. So very interesting. I did some digging and it does look like Cummins is gonna release this gas engine in 2024, which like I just mentioned, the timeline does line up very well for the exit of the long serving 6.4 Hemi. Now we don't know too many details specifically about the 6.7 gas engine. However, we did have Cummins open up about their fuel agnostic strategy, and this will be covering their ISBs, which is their 6.7s, um, their ISL engines, as well as their ISX, basically all of their on-road engines. The whole idea of Cummins agnostic fuel strategy is to be able to offer engines in a number of different fuels ideally in fuels that are aiming towards a carbon neutral footprint such as hydrogen cells natural gas obviously gasoline and diesel are in there biofuels um, so it is an interesting concept and with that common says they're giving the power back to the consumer allowing the consumer to choose which fuel their engine can run. Now, I can appreciate Cummins saying this because it does seem like, well, at least here in Canada, that the government is strongly pushing electric and only electric. I appreciate electric 100%. I do think it is the future and electric motors are absolute torque monsters. So they will be great motors for trucks. They will be fantastic at pulling things and it just, it, I think it is the future. However, we're not there yet. And this is exactly what Cummins says. They point out that um, the average total fleet cost for an electric fleet is about three times higher right now than diesel. And the only businesses, companies, fleets that can run all electric and not be completely at a loss are those fleets that are heavily, heavily subsidized by government. So if you take those subsidies away, most likely those companies could not afford to run electric vehicles. And that is the honest truth. So I guess to wrap up Cummins fuel agnostic strategy and why they are releasing a gas 6.7 engine is they are trying to just bridge the next 20 to 30 years of transportation where we are still trying to go towards a net zero carbon emission. However, not necessarily totally forcing people to take the electric plunge and you know without government subsidies 
taking massive losses. So that's kind of where they're going and that's where they see the future is. Now, the first engine out of this Cummins fuel agnostic strategy is going to be the gas 6.7 engine, which could realistically be replacing the 6.4 Hemi in Ram's heavy duty truck lineup. Now, in terms of details, like I said, we don't know that much, but what we do know is that everything from the head down should remain the same across all fuel systems, including gas, meaning that the gas 6.7 engine will have the exact same bottom end as the diesel 6.7, um, which means it'll be very, very strong. So this is an ISB Cummins. It is a 6.7 Cummins. It's slightly different than what's in the pickup truck. It, basically the same so from the head down will be the same on the gas engine obviously with the gas engine the head will have to be different and there'll be a different fueling system and the upper end componentry will have to be a little bit different however the bottom end will stay the same now there are obviously pros and cons to having the same bottom end as a diesel we'll start with the pros obviously it's going to be very very strong the six seven cummins are very beefy engines um they are commercial grade engines meaning that they are meant to take a beating as well as diesels they just produce more force more torque so the engine has to compensate for that the crankshaft the cylinder walls the rods they're all manufactured stronger um, to meet the uh, the stresses of a diesel engine. So to be able to use those bottom end components in a gas application will mean that the gas engine is extremely overbuilt. Now the downsize is weight. Um, this 6.4 Hemi weighs just over 500 pounds. The current 6.7 Cummins diesel weighs about 1,100 pounds. So it's about an extra 600 pounds of weight in the front end. So it will be an extremely heavy gas engine. Um, however, there will be some weight savings if we go over to this engine here. Now with a gas engine, the head will most likely be aluminum because, well, it doesn't take the same force as a diesel and a diesel needs an iron head just because of all the forces. The fueling system will not need to be as intense. Um, obviously diesel has a high pressure fuel pump, high pressure lines, high pressure injectors. A gas engine does not need that much fuel componentry. So that will be some weight savings there as well as the EGR. Gas engines do not need to utilize as big of EGRs to meet their emissions protocols. So the EGR will be smaller ideally. Um, so there will be some weight savings, but the bottom end with that iron block and strength will be a heavy, heavy gasoline engine. Now, I also heard some rumblings about the 6.7 gas engine potentially having a compound turbo setup. That's correct. Two turbos um, and with a gas engine that could be advantageous. So I could see that actually happening. Obviously with the 6.7 Cummins diesel right now we just have a single VGT turbo but it will be interesting to see what Cummins does in terms of boost because I cannot see the 6.7 gas engine um, being naturally aspirated there will be a turbo I can probably bet my life on it and uh, we'll have to see what they do in terms of turbo setup so that is all the details I know so far like I said I wish I knew more but what we can plan on is that the diesel Cummins right now will share a lot of componentry with the potential 6.7 gasoline engine, which I think is good because it'll just mean that the gas engine is going to be massively overbuilt and uh, hopefully a very sturdy, strong, well-built engine. So this is complete speculation. I, I don't know what's going to happen, but in a perfect world, if I did, I would probably want the 6.7 gas Cummins engine in here rather than the high output Stellantis um, twin turbo engine. I think the, um, you know, heavy overbuilt gas engine will serve a much better purpose in an HD truck versus a, um, we'll call it a performance engine in an HD truck. So I like the 6.7 gas option better than the high output Stellantis option. But as always, I'm interested in what you guys think. Um, Cummins is coming out with a 6.7 gas. There's no doubt about it. It is gonna come out. Whether or not it's in these Ram HD trucks, I have no idea. 
timeline would suggest that there is some possibility that it does go in there. Obviously, Ram and Cummins have a very good relationship, so that kind of checks out as well. And the fact that the Stellantis high output engine just doesn't seem to work in an HD truck. So there is a lot of speculation around what's going on with the 6.4, but who knows? Maybe Ram just keeps a 6.4 and there's no change. I don't know, but I'm interested in what you guys think. As always guys, if you like the video, don't forget to leave that thumbs up. And if you like cool stuff like this, don't forget to subscribe, but enough of me. We'll see you in the next freaking video, guys.